Well, That's it, good sir. Good seeing you, John. Jeez. Thanks for having me. Good seeing you. Some days you might take a leap forward, other days you might move a centimeter. It doesn't matter. Every day is a step forward towards your goals. What are you doing every single day towards your goals? That's what will bring you success. Hey, you. You gonna want some breakfast? What's up, John? You gonna want some breakfast? No, no, I had breakfast. You already up early eating? Yeah. You eat all times of the day, don't you? Yeah. Uh, I eat I can eat <coughs> any time. Well, I'm cooking, so if by the time it's done, you're up. You can okay. come eat something. No, no. Well. Yeah, see? That's what I so thought. You what? I, I, feel, I feel real good now. Okay. I don't, nothing hurts. I feel real good. Well, let's just keep it going that way, right? That's why I don't get up. Because what am I going to do when I get up? True. So let's keep you feeling good. How about yeah. that? I, what am I going to do? Nothing. <laughs> Mom's getting the heated blanket out of the truck, put stuff in my truck, get stuff back out of the truck. Just don't want to stay open. Wendy, look at all of this crap that I'm taking home. And guess what? Pretty much all of it is what I wanted to grab and snag and take. Damn, sweet. Stuff that I could either sell or use or that, because it was all going to go in the trash. It's a kick ass. Damn. That's just got all kinds of pets from Jim. Get everything out of there. Okay. It'll work. Good times. Old uncle's house. Right? Right. Yeah. And you know, Trouble getting guys. To, you know, you'd be, you'd be, you got to square it up so the other guy, and you cut him, and then you got to cut, and you got to throw this piece off. Yeah, big, 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 big old heavy beast. Yeah. Oh yeah. And he says, "Well, I don't have to worry about guys putting my job." Guys Nobody wants to do that. I can't do or it. Or I can't do it. I can't do it. Jeez. Because you know, so many beasts coming through. You know, the flanges are that thick. Oh yeah. And the metal starts weighing a lot. The thicker it is, it may not be a big piece, but when it's thick, but it's big. Yep, that weighs a lot. And he, and he says, "I don't have to do it anyway." When he finds out, and he, he was big. He's That's called job security. Yeah. Yeah. He, he weighs well over two hundred pounds. Oh wow. Yeah. That's crazy. He's he's a big guy. Big. Yeah. Well, you had to be in that job. That position need to be a big, strong, stout guy. Yeah. And you know, the irony of it is, he's a, he was a darn smart guy. Was he? But there was just something wrong with his personality. Huh. See? Wow. He couldn't get along with people. Oh, no. so he had to be by himself doing but, his own yeah, thing. And he was by himself. Oh, really? And it was hot on there, you know? Oh, yeah. When that beam, that hot beam's coming through. Yeah, <laughs> there ain't nothing cool about it. That's How long were you out there? What's that? How long were you out the mill? Me? Yeah. Uh, no, I was not long. Maybe. No, how long do you how long do you work out there? Uh, no, well, maybe two years. That was it. Yeah. How long did you work at uh, yeah. Bethlehem Steel? I went for forty. Forty years. Forty years. Then. Forty years. And I, I worked twenty years at the main lab, but I worked in a furnace room. Okay. You know what I mean. Yeah. We experimental pieces. Yeah. And you're a big. Trying to figure out what new steel to make and yeah, what to work where and testing. And, and then after I had 20 years, and they built that Homer Research Laboratory. And then I moved, I was up there for 20 years. Oh, wow. 20 years and 20, I put 40 years. Jeez. 
The only job I ever had. That was it. <laughs> the only job. We're good for you. If you like it, keep on doing it. No, but John, John, money was good. Yeah. That's some steel paint. Good money. Steel's where it was. I think we could do without this rug. It bothers me. Well, move it. Uh, I don't like a. I don't feel right. I feel they feel better with them. Let me tell you, that last clip, there is nothing more adorable than that. Grandma tucks in Grandpa every single night, gets his eye drops in, gets his nose drops, um, no spray. <laughs> Lells at him, you need to put your socks on. Your feet are going to get cold in the middle of the night. He's like, no, they'll be fine. I'll just put the blanket over them if I do. And... She just takes care of him. If he even goes to bed early and she's still watching TV, she'll go in there, wake him up, put his drops in, take care of him. Mom says she'll even complain to him when he's, hey, you need to prop your pillows up more. He doesn't look like you're comfortable. It's just way too cute and adorable. It's uh, definitely blessed to be witnessing, you know, that type of love and, you know, taking care of each other and just that old school way of love, which I've always just craved and wanted and there's I will not settle for anything less than that so major props to grandma and grandpa because those are exactly who I mock off of everything it's amazing but we're chilling oh and I did it I did it I convinced and talked mom into keeping Duchess here for her to stay here and her to watch her so bam Kudos to me. I was pretty 70% sure I was going to be able to do it. It was just going to take time. And I decided tonight that I'm going to stay here probably for another week. I'll probably leave next Monday or Sunday or whatever day I decide to. I'm like, what am I going to do? I do a little bit of personal training at home and just wait to leave to go to Florida? Nah. Like, being around my grandparents every time, I usually I think it's like the last time I'm going to see them. And I've seen them twice in the past like eight years because I've been so busy. So. I owe it to them, I owe it to me to spend the time. I'm taking so many videos and pictures. That's why this week is probably just going to be a lot of, you know, music with clips of just watching, you know, just them and what they do and things that are just going on around here. And that's why I did, like, videos, like, of the whole place because it's going to just remind me of their house and everything that it is. Like, take a crap ton of videos, take a crap ton of pictures, take a crap ton of everything from memories. That's why I love my videos and everything, because pictures you're going to have to remember after so long. Videos, you get to literally watch and relive and be in those moments again. And it's just, it's amazing. It's the biggest blessing for me to still have them around at 95 and 97 years old. I'm going to be 96 and 98 this year, August and September. So, great. I think I was going to stay also because they were talking about having a get-together possibly with family and friends because you know grandparents they just get kind of lonely and kind of depressed <laughs> they've been latching on with me I'm trying to spend my time bouncing back between both of them you know talking and conversing with them but uh so that one doesn't get jealous and the other one doesn't they just love having somebody else around so just be aware of that and spend time we you know with your grandparents and you know you're elderly you owe it to them because they did a lot more for you sometimes growing up than you ever realized. And if they weren't around, well, I'm sorry. But, yeah, just really got a lot of, just got my mind thinking about different things and perspective and just everything else. So, take it, enjoy it. Hope you guys love this week as much as I do. And if you don't, that's fine, because this week is kind of about me, my family, and my loved ones. Night. Get all your uh, coffee and oatmeal and everything done? Yeah. Off to the store we go. Of course, mom always wants me to drive. Do you grab a mask? No, your mask are in your vehicle, so you need to go get one. Because in Pennsylvania, we are required here 
you have to have a mask. You have to have a mask. There you go. To go in public. Ah! Unhook. Bam. Jack's already been down. We're good and ready to rock. The funness of Pennsylvania and having to wear masks. 2020. What a crazy fucked up year, right? You gotta wear masks when you go into stores and places. <laughs> Shit's wild. journey. Another good day in the paradise of Pennsylvania. It's going to get down to 49 tonight, so it's going to be cold. Going to have the windows open just a little bit less than before. But I fixed mom's bed. Needed to add washers to all the bolts because the things were slipping and sliding and flopping around, so I got the bed all fixed. Got some other things done. It's kind of just a really chill day. Just hung out, laid around all day, and got just a goddamn taking a shower. I'm gonna watch some TV. Duchess has already been passed out. She did really good today. So we're excited about everything. Gonna do some stuff in the basement or the cellar, how do you call it, tomorrow. Just wrapping up this day. Um, got some other things hopefully working on in the process, so let's hope for that. Good vibes are going to bring good things your way. So keep that positive mentality and that positive outlook. TBS. Oh, how the hell is it already o'clock? 2.12.51, almost 1 o'clock. Lord Almighty, been a busy ass morning. I've got everything set up for my apartment. I need to get that done. I got uh, at and internet set up for the first, electric set up for the first, renter's insurance, just got that done. Called the apartment complex, talked to the guys that I know, <coughs> or the guy I've been dealing with, to make sure that we got everything situated. And he said, you're all done, good, ready to rock. I just, when I get the email from the Allstate lady, I can just forward that on. So I got the Allstate lady down there, $212 a year for renter's insurance. So great to guess, just something I have to have, whatever. But Fred got here, so he's gonna be building a ramp for Grammy and Papa downstairs on one of the sides. So let's go down and see that. I finally got all this stuff done and situated. So, so happy about that. Get shit done, stay on top of your shit, get stuff done beforehand. Be proactive instead of reactive instead of like going down there like oh hey you didn't have this done and then hey you can't move in because you don't have this done stay on top of your shit Dum, dum, dum. 
Dum dum dum. Oh, look at the scratches. Look at that potato body. Oh, it's so good. Those ear scratches. Oh, that body scratches. The potato scratches. Oh, it's... you want to see the bed? Is that what we made for Duchess? Is that what Mom did? And even just like a little gate just to keep her in there during. Oh, that is wet from you and your drinking. Look at your little bed, God. This can be your new little home when I go to Florida. Gonna leave you here? Your little pet? Why don't you lay down? Oh, it's so nice and cozy. Love it. See what I mean with that? 97 years old, and gonna be 98 in September, and he just zips along. But great, you saw Duchess got her in a little, her little caged modified area just for that. But just because you know, Grandma and Grandpa get up in the middle of the night, so this will be phase one. It's kind of phases of reopening. It's like phase one of getting Duchess here. So instead of her sleeping up here, I even took her bed away. It's down there, so she can uh, start learning kind of getting away from me distancing her from me like for her sleeping down there being around her all the time just seeing me here and about and then it'll be a good phase to get away because it's today's Wednesday night so you know by the time I'll probably leave Sunday night Sunday morning something like that. It's probably my best bet my guess there's like a things I gotta do but yeah so we're getting all that stuff done it was great that being here it'll show mom so much stuff on her phone like I said, I got everything done for my apartment today, so I got my second address, put in her phone, and showed her so many different things, and we got Netflix, my account for Netflix, got that set up on her TV, so we're rocking and rolling, getting her all knocked out, getting her phone even more figured out, showing her tips and tricks, which is great. Things aren't that hard, are they? No, they're not. So, I'm going to say, I'm going to call it a night, I mean, it's already a 9.19. But got things to do, as in relax. And then got my uh, my little chore list to do tomorrow. We got uh, things we're doing. And I fixed the toilet upstairs. I got it quit running like five gallons of water each time. So I mod I changed the, I modified the float. And I got to look at the toilet downstairs. So got the float fixed up here. Like handyman John here to fix things. I took five days for vacation, so now I can get put to a little bit of work. Even though the whole reason I came here was. For to work to bring mom her stuff, but eh, what are kids for, right? We're gonna start off this Thursday with me talking. Great, such an awesome day. It's gonna be 73 and pure sun and like five to 10 miles on our winds. Perfect day and the ramp got done yesterday. So we're gonna take Grammy and Pop up for a ride today, maybe to go visit, you know, their daughter, you know, my Aunt Patty that who passed away at the beginning of the year from ovarian cancer. So we're going to get them out and about and doing stuff and see Grandpa in the garage because they built, he built that garage with his sons. Like, so excited for what today has in store. Just got done with a great shower. Ugh, feeling great, refreshed. I'm going to go down and eat. We're just going to rock this day. Let's just go. Apparently, we have approval from Duchess about the ramp. Oh, yeah, you do like the ramp that Fred built? Is that going to be your hangout spot? We got Trooper doing little bastards already on the way. He's going to go to his pole. Good girl. You, you like it here. You're going to do just fine sitting in. See, let's watch this little. Look at that big old thing. Everybody must love me. Watch him go to the pole. Dum to dum. Mom said he has his routine, so let him do his little. Don't mind me. Sorry. Keep going. Proceed. Just comes down. And the pole that all the dogs pee and check on. Yep, there it is. Yep, there you go. Get a little get a little trooper on it. Everybody knows. Okay, get the other side. Oh, oh, that's a hell of an incline. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, we're gonna. Oh, we're just gonna poop. Okay, let's just go ahead and stop there and go get a bag. We'll pick it up. No. Nope. Yep. Oh, there you go. Scrape it up. Scrape it up. There you go. Come on, Trooper. Let's go. Let's go on back. Good job. Come on. C 
Come on. Come on, little flopper fish. Look how depressing that is. I'm down to like no gummy bears. Well, it's 9.30. I took Duchess out one last time after she ate. And Barbara, the next door neighbor who moved into that was my Uncle Francis' house, which is my mom's dad's. So Grandpa Joe, Papa as I call him, it was his dad. They lived right next door to each other. Because this house was built in 1950. His house was built in 1913. As we... I learned about today <clears throat> but just got done talking to Barbara for like an hour and a half great lady actually went to school with Fred who built the ramp so they talked today but yeah great lady love talking to her <sighs> that's just doing good downstairs then here so I have no problems with that I don't know I don't think I got anything else I'm just happy and blessed it's all I'm just feeling just so fulfilled and this was such an amazing decision and to stay longer and all the great amazing people and the mindsets and just gives you different perspectives in life. Perspectives are everything. Well, hi. Um, yeah, as you know, I'm just always hustling. I can't help it, you know? So, uh, told him about Patty's car. That was his, because uh, Dave was gonna get it, because it was gonna be in the Will farm. And you know, I was like, man, this guy's 04 Saturn, 75,000 miles. I was like, because they have, they have inspections once every year for vehicles for like rust, and we're all paying the ass in Pennsylvania. So I was like, Hey Dave, I'll give you a thousand bucks for the car. Good V6, all that. He's like, I talked over the family. He's like, yeah. He's like, you know what? I'm doing that. So cool. Get me a car. <laughs> so I'll end up. I'll sell that for two, three thousand dollars back when I uh, take it home. So I just got done strapping it up. It's all loaded up, strapped up, ready to rock. Close this stuff up. I'm gonna get ready to head the heck out. I decided, I didn't, I didn't talk to you guys. I decided I'm going to leave today. It's gonna rain for the next two days and we're not gonna have a family gathering or get together or anything, so whatever. So if we're not doing that, I'm just gonna go ahead and drive in the rain and then be home while it's nice, because I got things I gotta do. But everything's all been hooked back up. Gotta make sure that Dutch is gonna stay here because Grammy's knowing that she's staying here and then she's like, well, where's the dog gonna ride on the way back? 
old people are just like kids sometimes, just as bad. But all the other stuff that I gotta sell up in the front, great. Pop up sitting outside. So let's re chat with him and see what else I gotta do before I get out of here. Ugh. Your little kennel. Your little kennel. That's it. Have a good life. You have a good life too. Oh, I'm going to cry. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Been here for a week. You've That's had me why long enough. I got so used to not having you underfoot. And yeah, and having me everything else. Spoiled. I kind of mm -hmm. like having you underfoot sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> when I'm giving you a hard time. When you're not giving me a hard time. True. Hi. Okay, it's been good. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. It's been good to be around. Right. Give her one more hug. I got things to do. I turned it off. Okay, one more. Yeah. yeah. Have a, lot of, a lot of things to do down there. Right? Yeah, and being on Facebook, you guys be able to see it. Right. Get mom to send, I'll send some pictures and she'll show you guys and okay. keep you updated on stuff. And maybe yeah. I'll call and let you know. Maybe I'll call just to bug you on my 25-hour drive down there. I'll call you to tell you how your dog's doing. Yeah, I'm just why I'm going to call to check in. You guys are going to have to give me reports now. That's what you're going to have to do. Okay. Yep. <laughs> the potato. Say goodbye oh, to the potato. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're so ferocious. Yeah. Potato. So, as you see, uh, we've been at a dead stop and been creeping for the past 30 minutes. Yeah, some wreck. GPS even told me there was a wreck up ahead and we've been creeping for 30 minutes and at a standstill for five plus minutes at a time. Great, great start to my trip and it's rainy. Whatever, we'll get there sooner or later. Well, hi, it's, it was like 9.15 when I got home. Checking everything out. Got all that stuff I gotta clean. Oh, my damn door over here popped out like an hour, two hours from home. It popped out, so I had to come over here and I had to redo the whole latch thing. Got it all latched and good, but it was kind of flopping in the wind for the past two hours. I didn't even give a shit, whatever. The wind just kind of kept it closed, but kind of banged. But yeah, I had to get out three different tools to be able to I had to redo it pull it out maneuver it and re-secure it in and whatever it's all done and fixed now even got my race car door open all right man everything's so weird it's so tall let's get everything unloaded I ain't got time to rest I hit up the two people that were gonna buy the stuff buy some stuff from me while I was there like the uh the bracket the seat bracket that I have and the uh center caps so the kid said he was going to stop by at like one o'clock today i just talked to him a little bit ago so he's going to stop by at like one o'clock to get him but uh that's it i vlogged through the weekend i use like the weekends for myself or i can just decompress but look at how oh that is so tall what did we get since we were gone oh a little over half an inch let me just throw that on the ground Cody all right cody's calling i'm done I'm out. I'll see you guys Monday. I almost forgot. I'm making this clip after I said I was done because I'm still loading everything, but I'm going to put it before the very end of the clip. So it'll be backwards, but it'll it'll work out well. See, I forgot to tell you guys, Debbie, hugs and prayers. She made me a mask while I was gone and uh, told her to put it in front of my door. 
That's how it's supposed to put things in your mouth, right? Really neat. She made me a mask and told me to wear it while I was in Pennsylvania. Ah, let's see if I can hold it. Wow, look at that. How sweet. That's Debbie and Robin Woodward. So Debbie made it for me. That's awesome. I'm going to tell her, send her a picture of it until I really appreciate it. Good, great neighbors. And always to show your appreciation.